Okay, in this video, let's take a look at the golf swing of Mel Reed, playing well at the U.S. Open this week up in the Olympic Club. Stumbled a little bit coming in in today's round, but playing very well. Super athletic swing. Just a quick reminder, if it is your first time to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. If you like the video, hit the like button as well. So let's take a look at Mel Reed. So the first thing we see at address, very strong grip position with a left hand. Classical for this day and age, and almost tense looking at a dress. Very straight left arm, almost pushing that left shoulder up into the air a bit, which looks very tense and tight. Not sure that is the best thing under pressure, but it does create a lot of extension of width in the takeaway. Also having a stronger grip creates a stronger club face position, which is good. In that takeaway, turning it back, and then getting into a super athletic position coming down. This is a player who works a ton on fitness incredibly fit, is in the gym all the time, incredible athlete, and she can really move it out there. We'll see. Setup-wise with the lines, I really like where she is at a dress with the spine tilt. I like where she is with the shoulder angles. And then as she comes down, she's winding it up here. Sometimes she tends to get a little bit of a tip over, almost into a reverse pivot with some of the swings I've seen. This one, she winds it up and then just barely starts to move forward. But really, as she sits down to go athletic, and then she moves a bit more forward than some players. So the left knee clearing late, hips moving this direction a little more than they are rotating at this point. And then as she comes through, with that left leg not clearing as quickly or straightening as quickly, look how much change in the spine tilt she gets coming into the ball. So now she's in a position at impact, which is drastically different there. Up on the toes. And the only problem with that really with you know other clubs than, than the driver is you're going to tend to get some inside-out shots too much, pushes, hooks, thin shots. With the driver, you're coming up at that golf ball, which is good, but once again, excessive movement where the spine goes from a position where it might start like this and then moves excessively. Then the club gets inside-out too quickly and can really cause some trouble for directional control. Taking a look at this three-wood off the ground here, uh, she does bomb it out there, very accurate when she's in rhythm. And you can tell by the physique, very fit, very strong, good wind-up. And at times, once again, a little bit of a reverse action. And sometimes as she goes up, the arms overtake the body. The body does not keep turning all the way back. And this athletic move that she gets there, which she's really sitting and going from a position just lowering down for all that force and power and then pushing up out of there. It's just the timing of that that might be off. The athleticism's there, the sort of the ease of striking a golf ball. You can tell ripping a ball is nothing for her. It's just maybe a case of finding out what happens under the heat and does this left leg getting around clearing quick enough or not, cle not clearing quick enough cause some issues under extreme conditions, say on a Sunday afternoon. So for an approach shot, and she hits a lot of good ones, very natural looking setup, good modern setup, light knee flex, not too much, not too deep in the knees there. Like we see some players, very sort of a moderate position. So after the transition move, she can be super athletic in those legs. Posture, not too stiff looking, gradual bend to the back there, and the pelvis sitting in here neutral to the spine, which is great for spine health and for pelvic rotation. And so now as she goes up, up the plane beautifully. And like you said, there's, a, there's almost a hint of a stack and tilt to some degree. Sometimes she is pushing over that way with the upper body, which can cause a steepness in the transition. But a lot of these shots, classical position at the top, but look at that sit move. I mean, she is really lowering down there into those legs. And that takes the arms out of the equation Super athletic, and this is a player who does a lot of gym work, a lot of medicine ball throws, a lot of gym training. And now coming up out of those legs for power, club head speed, backspin. One interesting move to note with her full swing here, and you see it with Rory McIlroy, you see it with Yuka Sasso, who's playing great this week at the U.S. Open as well, is that left leg sort of straightening back as a trigger move to start this swing. So watch this knee as it straightens 
and then she sort of can drift backwards into the right hip or drift off the ball sometimes. Yukasaso does. I mean, Yukasaso's swing is a very, very similar to Roy McIlroy's incredible swing. And this one here, it's an athletic move there, but straightens that knee, rocks back slightly, and then down really into those legs there, and then pushing up for power. But it's interesting to see how some players look as though they've been copying McElroy's movements, whether it's subconsciously or on purpose, not sure. From this angle, we can see the same move. Watch this knee moving, and a little drift back there. Club sitting there, it's not moving. But the body moving just a little to the right, similar to McElroy. Then there's a wind-up. And now the timing, like we said, this timing is good. She's in the legs here, and I do believe if this knee would move back sooner and straighten sooner, she would have more control of the ball. And I'm sure, like this one here, I don't mind this swing. This timing looks correct. Some of them, however, it looks as though she doesn't get the knee back enough. She falls back sort of onto her back leg in the finish. Can't quite get through it like you see her doing in this swing. Lastly, let's look at this approach shot here just to highlight this knee action again. If you watch them play on the weekend, watch it as well. You can see that movement from some players straightening that left leg, rocking into the right hip. And I'm not going to say it's a good move or a bad move. I'm just saying it's interesting to note that it is similar to McElroy's move. And like I said, doesn't always wind it completely to the top. She gets some wind in the arms, sometimes creep up there without the wind of the shoulders. And I think if that isn't as complete, that could be trouble. But for a lot of her shots, her lines, I mean, just what an amazing natural-looking golf swing. Lots of hard work, I'm sure, going into it. But, wow, just fun to watch these lines. And I'm surprised we don't see her name more often on the leaderboard with the swing lines that are that good. I mean, can it get more perfect at impact right there? Hands, club, and face dead on the plane. And let's see where this one went. With those perfect lines, we should see something. Yeah, there it is. Right next to the stick. Great shot. Okay, well, that'll wrap it up for this video of Mel Reed. Just a quick reminder, once again, if it is your first time to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you like the video, hit the like button as well. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.